Well, it looks like it is streaming. I'm testing a new setup here. So I'm going live. Hopefully I'll get some feedback from you guys if people start joining. Um, I'm using, I should have a, a mirror so you can see this, but I don't have one handy. But anyway, I'm doing a, a live setup for tomorrow where I'm testing this one for tomorrow. Uh, Sean Deller, my friend who is uh, the most recent subject of my documentary on Abundance Plus, is coming here to be on the Abundance Plus member uh, live stream that Justin hosts every other Sunday. So uh, Sean is coming here and I'm doing the production for it, setting up the lighting. I know I don't have any lighting set up right now, which is why uh, I don't have a a lot of light on my face but mainly right now I'm testing for sound and for video quality is there a lag uh, are you hearing me and then maybe a couple seconds later seeing the image move uh, we have Christian from southern Georgia welcome Christian I am uh, what part of southern Georgia is that uh, Valdosta that, down that low Arkansas, Ron King is here, and low volume, background noise, eager to see it tomorrow. Okay, let me see if I can boost my volume a little bit. My washing machine's also running, which is probably not helping. I boosted the volume a little bit, so let me know. Give me a thumbs up if that's better. Um, Ruth is saying hi, Dan, nice to see you. Hi, Ruth. And from Texas, yeah, very cool. Um, did that help at all, Ann, as far as the volume? I boosted it just a little bit. I can bring it up some more. There is a lag. You can hear me, though, from Amy. How bad is it, Amy? Is it... Hello from Southeast Michigan, honey. Kafana? Am I saying that right? East Tennessee, Southern Gardener. Hello, East Tennessee. Southwest of Savannah. Okay, cool. Um, I've been to Savannah before. Not a place you want to be in the summer for sure, the humidity. So it is a little bit better from Ann, the audio. So you guys just who are just joining, I'm doing a... Hi, Katie Bell from New Jersey. Uh, I'm doing a, a, a sound check basically, video check, just tech checking for quality. My lighting, I don't have lighting set up right now, so I know that stinks. Can you turn a light on so we can see your face? Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm, yeah, hold on. Let me grab something here real quick. Um, got some lighting right here. Let's see. It, it got a lot darker than, I was setting this up probably about 30 minutes ago and it was much brighter in here, but it's gotten a lot darker since I've been on. Let's see what. Woo! Too bright. Stand by. Wrong color. This is really not the best TV going on right now. Sorry, guys. One second here. There we go. And let me dim this. Too dim. All right. If I maybe just hold this down here, maybe that helps a little bit there, the lighting. Is that better? Okay. Feeding the goats. Hello from Connecticut. Nice to see you, Dan. Hi, Gary. Uh, the background noise makes hearing difficult for me. Louder helps. Okay. Uh, the washing machine stopped, but the fan, uh, say I have that gas stove, I guess I gotta turn my thumb that way. The gas stove is blowing its fan right now, which kind of stinks too. I was ho I'm was i using this, I don't know if you can see that wire, I'm using a, a little lavalier mic. Maybe, let me boost this up a little higher. Maybe that will help. And tomorrow when we go live for Abundance Plus, um, I'll, I'll have this on a wireless setup. I'm just doing kind of a proof of concept right now. So, uh, has that helped with audio at all? Rexburg, Idaho, Randall, welcome. Um, 
Yes, you can see me currently in Florida, Kettle Falls, Washington in May. Okay, Kettle Falls not, I mean, it's a drive, but it's, it's definitely uh, not too bad of a drive, I guess, from, from where I am. Uh, yeah, so for those of you joining, I'm just doing an audio and video test right now for Abundance Plus streaming tomorrow. My friend Sean Deller, who was uh, in my most recent documentary I made for Abundance Plus, is coming here to be on Abundance Plus streaming live with Justin. So I'm doing the production for it, so I want to make sure all this stuff is working. Um, I'm noticing a, a, a lag on my screen, too. Um, can you guys give me some sort of indication, like how bad is the lag from the time you're hearing me to the time you're seeing a result? I'll, I'll uh, like clap my hands so you can have a visual cue here. So, is it less than a second? More than a second? It's a little bit. It's probably like half a second on my end, uh, which can be a little annoying. Like if you're watching me speak and my lips don't line up to what you're hearing, it's maybe a little weird. Anyway, um, no lag here. Okay, good. Thank you, Ann. Uh, is the audio better, Ann? Because I know you were having issues with it. It should be better now. I have the microphone up higher. I boosted the volume, and there's probably less background noise going on. If you could just leave a comment or uh, in the chat there. Julianne does have a lag. How bad is it? just a bit yes about half a second is that annoying like to me that would be annoying maybe i'm just overly picky about that kind of stuff but just let me know too is that annoying um i you know what i should try i, I have a hot spot too i can switch to that's a little bit better internet um hopefully we don't lose the feed let me try and switch over real quick oh you know what i don't have the password in here for this Okay, we will just have to roll with it for now, and hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. Um, you hear me fine. Okay, audio is pretty important, so about one second here, but our internet sucks, okay. The lag comes and goes from J Jane in Wisconsin. Okay, um, well, why, while we're here, if there... Um, if there's anything you guys wanted to chat about, I'm happy to do that. As far as homesteading or the production or what the show is about tomorrow, anything like that. Um, Southern Gardener, no lag there. That That's good. So I'm wondering if it's just an internet thing on the receiving end. And is listening more than watching. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's not very visually stimulating anyway, so there, gotta keep this turned, so. I should have gotten my other internet set up for this before I started, I just didn't think about that. Anyway, so just, uh, I'll give you guys a, a quick few updates um, what is coming up on the homestead here soon. Um, I won't be getting pigs until May this year, but I'm getting pigs. Uh, the pig breeder last year, she gave me, um, well, didn't give me, she sold me two pigs that were a few months old by the time I got them, like about four and a half months old. And by the time it got cool enough in the fall for harvest, they were, you know, 350 pounds plus. They were just monsters. And it was really challenging to do the harvest with their size. So I asked the breeder, hey, this year, uh, can I get some that are freshly weaned so the next time she's going to have freshly weaned which is about eight weeks old uh is going to be in may sometime in may maybe midnight excuse me maybe mid-may are you getting any new animals going to plant a vegetable garden that's from honey kafna uh yeah so i was just mentioning the pigs um i reached out to tess my sheep breeder to ask about um any lambs for the spring and I haven't heard back yet but most confidently I'll be getting some lambs as well meat birds I want to order probably a couple dozen 25 ish meat birds uh, as far as the garden I am 
planning on getting a garden started this year. Um, I was really hoping to get some outside work done today, but it was raining all day. It's just let up and the sun's come out in the last 30 minutes. Um, but I was already getting this going and needed to see this through to make sure it was up and running for tomorrow. So I haven't really gotten the outside work done yet. I have fired up the tractor. <laughs> um, I, that was yesterday. I was getting it ready. I was going to rent a tiller. I was. You'll see in 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 the next. Well, hopefully, be the next video. But you'll see in an upcoming video uh, what I had to do to to get it going. But I got the tractor running. I got a um, the parts I needed for it to attach a tiller because I was gonna do a a till out in the pasture where I have the big craters from the pig grazing. And the tiller would just kind of smooth all that out. And by the way, I'm open to suggestions if there's a better way to do that. Um, we just got a, um, what do you call it? Uh, the, the chat thing. What is that called when you, uh, somebody type it in here. It's when you do super chat. I think that's super chat. Okay, <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, thank you. Not intimidated. I appreciate that. Uh, keep the faith. Great job. Thank you. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to get this tractor project done, but the the place that rents out the equipment didn't have it available uh, yesterday. So hopefully next week, and, and I'm going to get seeding down and then hopefully do some grazing on it this year too. Uh, so that's just kind of what's on the horizon. Uh, oh, real quick too, um, tomorrow I'm starting filming on a short film that will be for the YouTube channel. Uh, it's, I won't give too much away, but uh, it, it is, a, I wrote the, a screenplay for it, it's full script and everything. Um, got some actors, I got some extras in it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's, it's um, to promote something, one, a mindset, but also a specific product that I think would be uh, a really good addition to anyone's homestead and I'll just leave it at that for now and you'll see that in an upcoming video. I'm hoping it comes out pretty cool. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Christian Hunter, do you miss being a police officer? I do sometimes. Um, less and less the older I'm getting now. Uh, I definitely you know missed it a lot when I left and then you know over time um, there's periods where um, there's parts of it I miss and then some parts I really, really don't miss. Um, and it really helps too that I am really enjoying doing all the video production work I'm doing now. Um, I'm doing that full time. Most of it's editing, um, I'd say about 80%, but I've been, the last couple of weeks, I've been actually out hustling uh, a lot locally for clients, doing, I have this big video project going on right now for a client, and that's going really well. So I love my job, and uh, really, there are no regrets. Uh, there, there's, there's definitely times, though, I miss. Cause I, I was a detective. I really enjoyed doing investigations, uh, doing the detective work, and sometimes I, I miss that a little bit. And when I left, of course, um, the, I did vest, so I will get a little bit of a pension when I hit 65, but... You know, I, I I would be retiring in probably seven or eight years from now had I stayed. So there's things like that. You know, now I'm like nowhere near any sort of retirement. And that's cool. I'm not even thinking about wanting to retire at this point. But um, I know that would have been nice uh, being in that government job, getting the government retirement benefits and then going off to do something else. But uh yeah, it's not the way it worked out. So, Spokane Valley, Washington. Karen, hello and welcome. You are not terribly far from me. Yeah, not intimidated. Super chat. Thank you. I was drawing a blank on that. Um, Treasure Valley, Idaho. Charmaine Martinez. Hello, Char Charmaine. Um, Treasure Valley is southwestern. Idaho, for those that don't know, like the Boise area. Correct me if I'm wrong, Charmaine. I'm not from down that way. I'm up north in the Panhandle, a good eight plus hours north of there. 
Herbert, welcome from DC. Herbert, um, if you're the same Herbert, and I believe you are, uh, is an Abundance Plus member and was featured on the Justin Rhodes show at one of his chicken harvests last summer. Uh, Herbert, was that the one where Justin ate the liver and got sick? Were you there for that one? That would <laughs> should have stopped him if you were there for that. Um, CJ and Auntie Yaya, testing one, two, three, what's up? Yeah, testing. We're testing. Uh, hopefully audio and video is still good. Um, maybe a little bit of lag here and there. Um, but tomorrow we're live streaming with Justin Rhodes for Abundance Plus. Uh, I'm not. I'm doing the production for it, but my friend Sean Deller is coming here. To He's the primitive skills teacher I featured in a recent documentary for Abundance Plus, and he's going to be on the live stream tomorrow. So Justin is having him do that. So I'm making sure everything looks and sounds good for that. Uh, the lighting is going to be better. I'm not going to be holding a light tube down at my side uh, or his side. I'm not going to do that tomorrow. I'll have proper lighting. I just wanted to get this up and running quick and see how it, how it worked. So. War Dog is in the house from Montana. How's it going, man? Long time to see. I mean, obviously, I see in the comments, but not in person. It's been a while. You hear me? Good, good. Herbert, yep, that was you. Hi, from Philippines. What time is it in the Philippines? Is it past your bedtime there? <laughs> it's, it's probably, well, actually, you're the other way. No, you'd be much early. Maybe it's morning time there. I don't know. Let me know. Um, Las Vegas in the 80s now. Wow. Yeah, it's finally hit spring weather here. Um, but, like, 50s. Like, Well, it's probably like 50 degrees today. So uh, that's spring for sure for here. Uh, Christian, thank you for your openness. Yeah, just curious, Christian, are you in law enforcement or thinking of getting into law enforcement? That's why you asked. Um, I actually um, did a consultation about a month ago with um, with a guy who was in law enforcement uh, and he's wanting to get into homesteading full-time, actually farmsteading, so making a career off of it. And he'd already been raising chickens on the side and selling meat birds and stuff like that. And he kind of wanted to know, like, was it worth it? What was it like? And it's a really complicated, long answer, like sharing my experience with it all. But it was a really hard transition out of law enforcement. Um, it wasn't just, you know, uh, a cop one day and turning the badge and you're good to go and, you know, the next day without being a cop. I, it, it was a difficult transition because so much of your identity is, or I'll speak for me, so much of my identity was wrapped up in that. It's a career unlike really any others where um, you're never not your, a cop <laughs> when you're a cop. Like everywhere you go, um, if you go to a party, like you're a cop there too and, and everyone uh, reacts accordingly and it, it's it's a very interesting uh, line of work but it's it's it, it's not it's not like when you quit working at IBM and just go work for another software company or something like that and, or just do a different line of work it's it's just a very different thing um, so yeah a hundred is summer for us CJ um, it is 100 now where you are. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if that's what you're saying anyway. Um, Hijo de Pollo farming. Hijo. No, it's e, like Hijo de Pollo, like son of chicken. Am I, am I translating that right? <laughs> My name is Sergio. I have Prater uh, Willie syndrome, and I have a little farm. I don't know what that is, by the way. And I have a little farm, two acres and a half, uh, 11 sheep 50 chickens that's cool and a baby sheep we were born in uh, very, yeah it's spring lambing time congratulations that's always fun 729 in the philippines in the morning yeah um do you do you still in are you still homesteading i think is what you're asking there um yeah yeah um i only have six chickens right now but Next month, uh, I should be getting sheep and pigs, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll be... I, I have some big plans to change 
the infrastructure outside there, move around the fencing and all that. And in those changes, I hope to be putting in some gardening, or uh, not putting in gardening, but putting in a garden. So, uh, summer is 100 plus in Vegas in July. Yeah, yeah. My sister lived in Vegas for a long time. I've visited several times. And I used to live in Arizona too, so I, yeah, not as hot as Arizona. Yeah, I lived in Phoenix uh, for a year. And it was 120 there that summer. 123 was the high. Went, uh, not fun. <laughs> so I moved, part of why I moved to Idaho, I want to get away from the heat. It's cooler here. Uh, Rose from Wholesome Roots is here. Hello. Welcome. Uh, I'm just doing a audio and video check, uh, setting, uh, making sure my setup here is going to work for tomorrow for Abundance Plus on uh, the live stream we're doing with Justin tomorrow. Uh, Justin Rhodes, that is. So. Yeah, so that's that's for that's what's coming up in the homestead. Pigs, sheep, uh, some meat birds, getting the tractor, chicken tractors ready, and of course I have a, a tractor uh, job pending. I hope to, hopefully this week, um, the, the attachment for the three-point hitch attachment rototiller will be available at the rental shop and I can get the pasture smoothed out and overseeded. So we got all that coming. Uh, Justin was saying there was a farm liquidating all their stuff. Did you go buy some of the animals tools? Um, that was, that was, uh, I don't know exactly if that was in South Carolina or North Carolina. There was a, a couple hour drive from Justin. It wasn't close. Um, but definitely nowhere near me. <laughs> um, I'm in Idaho, about three day drive um, from there. So, so no, um, I didn't have anything to do with that. I edited those videos though. Uh, Charmaine, you gotta go. Have a great evening. Thanks for uh, joining Charmaine and giving the feedback. Yeah, we're just chatting and hanging out now. I got the, the you know, if anyone's joining and hasn't, let me know. Uh, about audio and video and video lag. If you could chime in, leave a note in the chat, let me know what the audio sounds like on your end, if the video looks good. I know, again, the lighting is a little wonky because I'm just holding a light tube down here. I didn't set up my nice lighting yet. Uh, that'll be for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, if you could just let me know what that looks like. Slight audio delay in the video. Is anyone else seeing that from Rose? Yeah, uh, a couple other people have mentioned that. And I'm wondering, right now I'm on my microwave internet uh, and microwave is barely faster than satellite it's pretty bad um but i have a cellular hotspot now and it's it's you know two to three times faster so i'm i'll switch to that tomorrow and hopefully that'll cure the lag well i i do it right now but i one i don't have the passwords so i have to go find it and then i think when i disconnect and come back it might drop the feed Video is great there in Central Florida. Thank you for that, Connie. How is having the tractor going, Herbert asked. Yeah, um, I, w I was just talking about it maybe right before you came on, Herbert. Um, I did get the tractor fired up. I've been filming that, so you will see it in the upcoming video if you're watching the channel much. Um, and uh, I got, it had a, a missing part that I needed to get an attachment for it for the three point hitch. So I got that um, part, I bought it, got it set up and fired the tractor up, took it for a little spin to make sure it would still run. And it was great, fired up great and all that. And um, got a project pending for that. So. Uh, CJ and NTIS says, I see your mouth moving, but it's like an old Japanese dub of Godzilla. I just dated myself. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Um, again, I'm hoping that'll be corrected tomorrow uh, if I use a faster internet source, hopefully. Uh, but it looks good, right? I, I'm, oop, shoot. Hope I didn't just pull out the microphone. No, it looks like it's still in there. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope at least the video quality probably it, lo it looks good on my monitor. In fact, when I should be looking right up here the whole time, looking at the camera, but I'm watching my monitor, which is down here, so I can see what it looks like, and um, it looks good down here. So, 
bought me the farm, but I'm getting little by little getting the farm growing. Hopefully get other animals out of the farm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it just go slow, take your time. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't like get a bunch of animals at once trying to feel like you got to do it all at once because that can be overwhelming. Chris is, la or I'm sorry, Connie is laughing at something. I'm not sure what. Maybe when I bang the microphone, I don't know. Um, yeah, so um, that's what's going on in the homestead. That's what's going on tomorrow. Is anybody in here uh, an Abundance Plus member to check out the live stream tomorrow? Because uh, it would be cool to get your feedback too tomorrow if you could just let me know if there was any improvement. That would be great. Video is good. Sound is crisp. Awesome. So right now I... I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that there. I have a, a, a lavalier microphone and it's hooked here and it's going up to my camera up there. Uh, but I'm going to put my wireless transmitter on it tomorrow. I just did this to be quick today. We got two lambs this spring to raise for dairy. Awesome. Um, are they East Frisians? I know, Rose, you've, you've always been a, a, a goat dairy. Uh, so I guess this is new doing the lambs. That's really cool. Um, so I've never frozen sheep milk before, but from what I've heard is that unlike goat or cow milk, if you freeze it to save it, um, when you thaw it back out, it thaws back to its original consistency. It's just like it was before because it's naturally homogenized, whereas goat, I think, is kind of partially homogenized, and cow is not homogenized at all. So when you freeze it, like the fat glob, gob, what do you, fat gob, gob, globules, there you go, separates, and it gets weird and doesn't come back together, right, when it thaws. So sheep milk, yeah. Um, did you say what time for the live stream tomorrow? Yes, uh, Abundance Plus member. Awesome, Julie. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be 11 Pacific, 2 Eastern, um, where it starts. And I think it's I think it's two hours. I think Justin said from 2 to 4 Eastern. So, so even if you can't make it early. Oh, and by the way, uh, it's going to be recorded. It's going to be, so it's going to be a video podcast. Uh, that you can watch later and it's going to hit the audio podcast uh, platforms as well um, for those of you that don't know i do justin's audio podcast um, if you go to stitcher itunes wherever you like to get your podcasts spotify whatever uh, you can look up the justin road show and he has a podcast on there too he doesn't ever um, really promote it so um, most people don't know about it but it's actually some cool stuff in there so uh, Philippines is asking again what time the live stream is tomorrow. So uh, 11 Pacific time. I'm not sure what that converts to um, in Phil in the Philippines, uh, but chances are it's yeah it's gonna be pretty pretty late at night or early in the morning. However you look at that. Oh Rose Rose does have sheep milk in the freezer. That's cool. Thaw that out. And let me know how that <laughs> how that works for you. Um, uh, Hijo de Pollo started a YouTube channel about the farm. Hopefully, income buying feed might. Um, hopefully, I guess you're saying you hopefully get in income from it. Um, and Dan and Justin inspire you. Awesome. I'm I'm glad. Uh, it's a big part of why I, I do it is just because um, I hear I get so many emails and comments from people that. Hey, I raise sheep now because I saw your videos, or I'm doing this now, or um, I maybe don't do it like like you do, but seeing you do it is you know inspired me to do it. So that that's really awesome. Uh, do a, a quick lightsaber swipe with, with the noises. I wish little buddy were here because he would totally do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get this. No oh, wow! I can change the color. Let's do that. Uh, Darth Vader. It's looking kind of orange, orange on my monitor, but it's actually red. I don't know if it's. Yeah, if I turn it this way, you can see the lighting on me is red. But yeah, so Vader. There you go. <laughs> Smashed it. Yeah, thanks. 
Boom. Let's get it back. All right. Yeah, for those of you I heard wanting to do YouTube or anything like that, um, I have the you know big LED lights that I'll use for interviews and stuff like that. But um, just a little light like the, this, you can just mount to a stand or it, you can tape it to something. I mean, whatever. And it just puts a little nice fill light in there, fills in the gaps for you. And it does all kinds of other cool stuff. Um, obviously, I can make it any color at all, you know, that you can imagine. And then uh, I can change the saturation of all the different colors. I can change the color temperature. So right now it's at 5,500 Kelvin. I can drop it down to, um, to where it's like warm, like an incandescent bulb. You see it getting warmer tone. So it drops down to 2,700 Kelvin which again, is looking really white on the monitor, but if I turn it towards me, you can see it has like a golden hue versus the light behind me, the natural window light is more of a blue um, tone. Did anyone clip that? I'm happy now. I'm, I'm glad that made you happy. I'm glad to help there. Um, it's nice to have a little silliness once in a while, all right, so. Anyway, guys, um, I would love East Freshman, East, you, I, I'm guessing you meant East Frisian uh, for dairy sheep, but not many around here. Okay, yeah. Uh, and the East Frisians are probably the most common. There are other dairy sheep breeds, but it's probably the most common. And uh, But I guess not in, in you're in Noonan, Georgia, I think, uh, Rose, or, you know, kind of central Georgia area, I guess. Um, I guess not in that area. A rave wand, yeah. Okay, so I guess it could be that too. Didn't I've never been to a rave, so I don't really think of them like that. Uh, spring cleaning, yeah, we're told the strange crew is doing some spring cleaning. I'm totally I've been slowly doing that, but I'm due up for like a major overhaul on that. But uh, uh, CW Moss, you want a, one of these light tubes? Um, forgot how much it is. It's not. It wasn't expensive. I think it was. Well, I mean, yeah, it was expensive, but for what it does, it seems like it wasn't that expensive. I got the two, I have two of them, um, and I, I want to say it was like 400 bucks for the two of them. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it is expensive, but for how much I use them, and I, I use these on professional jobs too. I was at a ski resort last week filming, and uh, the sun started dipping behind the mountain, and it got we were in the shadow and it got really dark and I had a production assistant with me that I've hired and uh, it was like, I handed him this, I was like, here, just hold this while I'm filming this guy and he just held it like right out of, out of frame. Well, I can't reach it out there. There we go, right out of frame and just held it like that and it just puts, I mean, it looked better than this, that, something like that, but it just puts enough light to pull that shadow off his face and save the day with the video and I didn't have to go back to my truck and haul heavy lighting for, you know, a quarter mile through the mud and, and up to the ski resort. So, um, yeah, totally worth it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's LED. Uh, Carrollton, you moved. Okay. I think you moved, right? You weren't in Car Carrollton when we first corresponded, I don't think. Anyway, um, you have Oleander in your yard. Ooh. That reminds me of that band in the 90s, Oleander. They were cool. <laughs> uh, seeing the round lights, lots of people used for filming and reflections in their eyes is getting on my nerves a little. I like that uh, straight window. Uh, well, that's interesting. Um, I forgot. There's a, there's a name for that and I forgot what it is. It's actually considered, um, it's like a desirable effect that cinematographers will do and you get it from like an octagonal Am I saying that right? Octog yeah, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, soft box, and it it gives like a little pop, and it makes the a little flare in the eye to make them stand out. Um, but maybe what you're seeing, they're overdoing it, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, what's it called? This, the light tube, it's, um, this is, shoot, you had to ask. Um, it's made by a company called Godox, and I use um, I use Godox for all my lighting because they have a really really good quality to value ratio. Um, 
so, so there's other competitors that charge, you know, two, two and a half times more and are only like 5% better of a product. So, you know, these, these are pretty amazing, but, uh, Godox and it's, oh, it's the, this is the TL 60. Yeah. TL 60. That's it. So. Two years ago, Rose moved. Wow, I'm so out of touch. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you know, those would be great for vehicle work. Yeah, um, if you're in a shop, yeah, you can totally like, and if you get the kit, it comes with clamps and straps. You can you know tie it to something. Um, if any of you saw my documentary or even my haggis video um, that I made if for Abundance Plus, it was on this channel, I um, showed some snippets and then I made a haggis video. Uh, it was part of my documentary I was making for Abundance Plus. There we go, I finally said that. And um, if you saw that scene where they're at the dinner table and Sean is serving the haggis, it was, there is a, a light like right over the kitchen table. You see that and that, that was kind of white lighting, but there was a lot of candle lighting as well in the room. And I, I turn the color of this to match more of the candles and I hung both of both tubes uh, on the ceiling uh, It's a log cabin so the rafters were just um, timber poles I guess I'm not sure what that's called um, and we just took string or some rope and tied these to the rafters and um, and that was our overhead lighting that filled in all the darkness so uh, and again I match the co the candle color in post production i changed a little because it was a little too heavy in that orange um but anyway yeah totally there are lots of really good uses for this um i actually used these for um the chickens when uh when i moved the chickens into the greenhouse for the winter you know i do it at night when they're sleeping and it was just dark so i turned this on red and I just put it in the corner in the greenhouse and it lit the whole thing up and I could film in there and the lighting was good. So there's plenty of applications, YouTube or professional use for them. It's great. The haggis looked tasty. It was, it, it tasted like a lamb uh, meatloaf. It was good. Yeah, G good stuff for overhead lighting. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I'm really grateful for you guys coming on here to, to give me that feedback about the video and audio, audio quality. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a better internet source and it'll um, alleviate some of the lag. But mainly, like, I was really concerned whether this would work with the audio. I wish you could see how I have this all set up. It's, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, it's working. So um, huge relief. So uh, anyway. Thank you guys so much for joining and if you can make it tomorrow on abundance plus if you're a member again that's 11 pacific 2 p.m eastern time uh sean Deller, primitive skills teacher will be on so i uh, look forward to hanging out with you guys there and take care